So welcome back to my last Vengeance video for 2017. Quick thank you again to Jay for basically inviting me and and letting me have a great day. I mean, obviously I was helping him out as you've seen on earlier videos, but thanks ever so much. And as a thank you, he actually gave me a copy of Shadow Games. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing for that at some point and review it on the channel, as well as hopefully get some actual gameplay of it with either my other half or a couple of friends over at some point and we'll film a couple of games of Shadow Games. I mean, they're only 15 minutes long, so we'll hopefully get that in at some point. So thanks for that, Jay. The two Chris's, GBI Chris and not GBI Chris. Now this is a little bit of a spoiler alert for what's already in the bag, but you get a union player in the bag. And I'll show you which one I got in a moment, but Chris and Chris both already play union. So they were like, oh, okay, what am I gonna do with these? And I said, well, if you don't want them, I'll have them. So they went, all right then, you can review them for the channel. So I've got a snake skin and a mist, so look out for unboxings of those. They both got crushed a little bit in my bag, so I apologise for the, the state of the boxes, but I will review them on the channel. So let's get on with what this video is about. This video is about what you get in the goodie bag. Now Jay's already said he's going to top this next year, and I don't know how you're going to manage it, mate, because it's a great goodie bag. So the obvious one is, of course, a union model. Now I got... Harry the Hat. Now, Harry, I believe, plays for the Engineers, so I'm really pleased to get another player to go with the Engineers Guild anyway. And I'll probably paint him up in the same colour scheme, which will be probably grey trousers with some sort of red top, because that's most of how my Engineers are painted. So, fantastic. New models. And I'll do an unboxing for him again. He's a bit dented, because he just is. But anyway, what else was in the bag? So you know about the Union player. Let's see what's next. The first thing I pull out is... A paint gripper. Now I'm going to do some painting videos in the future, so do look out for them just to show you what's on my painting table and to prove to you I do do my painting. And so this this will be a really handy little tool to help me grip my models. And what I'll do is when I do my first painting video, I'll put this together on on screen and just show you what it does and what it's like. So that's a great little prize. What else? Ooh. A gold token. Now, this isn't built either, so I do need to actually sit and build this. But this comes. This is a two-part gold token, which is in the same sort of shape as the um, trophy was for Vengeance. So I think that's a great thing. If you don't own a gold token, it gives you a thematic one. And you could probably take it back to Vengeance year after year if you were going back. So that's a brilliant, brilliant little, little thing. Now, I believe there's a 50 mil base in here somewhere. I'll get that out in a moment. Tokens, so these are the season three plot card tokens from Art of War. Um, so everyone got a copy of those, which I think is brilliant. If you've not checked Art of War Studios out, I'll pop a link down below. They do tokens for Guild Ball and a load of other games. So do check them out. And they're also starting to venture into the world of scenery. I know if you're an Infinity player right now, they have some stunning scenery with amazing, amazing um, balconies on them, which I just, I just want the balconies, but they don't do them on their own, but do go check it out if you're an Infinity player or a, a Guild Ball player or a Malifaux player because I know they do tokens for those too. So that's a great little little prize. What else do we have? There's something dice shaped. Well done, Jay. We all love dice. Um, oh, and it says Vengeance 2017, so you can even tell when it was from. And for me, it's a black one. Go with my Mortician dice. So thanks for that. What next? Oh, there's the 50 mil base. Knew it was in there somewhere. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, a bottle opener with Vengeance 2017 on it. Um, and lastly, two little badges with Vengeance 2017 and GBI. Well done, lads. Again, Vengeance was another great success with over a thousand games of Guild Wars played on that weekend, as well as, you know, just how many of the community came out from all over the UK. In fact, all over the world, there were people there from Germany. Um, the world champion Tim was there. It was a brilliant event. I met so many great people. Thanks for coming to say hello if you did come to say hello. And that's the end of my vengeance videos for 2017. Hopefully, Jay will invite me back next year, but we'll have to wait and see. The next event I'll be doing will be probably SteamCon. Um, I was going to go to the Malifaux... The, a tournament that was on this weekend at Element Games again at Northwest Gaming Centre, but unfortunately I couldn't make it. So 
hopefully the next event I'll do is SteamCon and hopefully I'll get some more exclusives for you from that. Otherwise, for now, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.